What's up guys? We are finally back today on the pier once again. I know you guys have been asking me for some more pier videos, but look who I ran into guys. Vitamin D baby. Vitamin D. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to target flounder on the pier. Now that's something I don't do a lot on my channel, but you guys have been asking for it. So I'm going to make my way out here and show you guys what I will be using and how I'll be targeting these flounders. So if it's your first time visiting my channel, thank you guys so much for visiting and uh we're gonna get into the episode if you guys enjoy this week's episode make sure to hit that thumbs up really really helps out the channel and hit the subscribe button if you're new to it all right let's go by right now let's see if he takes it he just he took nice little chunks out of it so hopefully he does come back for it i think we got i think we got a flounder or something guys yep we might have a flounder guys nice big old flounder guys nice nice what it was hitting right there wow there we go guys <laughs> that easy Nice little flounder right there to start the day. Ugh. There it is. That's a 12. 14. I slowly reeled it and I hit it when I slowly reeled it in. Go ahead, buddy. <coughs> guys, we got another flounder on. Oh, that's a flounder, guys. That's a flounder. That's a nice flounder. Oh my God, that's a tank. Wow, yes guys, there it is right there, another flounder, that's a keeper right there. Looks like a keeper, right Doug? Yeah, close. Close, we're gonna go ahead and measure them. All right guys, we're looking for a keeper, not a keeper size, another 12 inch, but maybe we get lucky today and do catch one for you guys. And we're gonna release them. There it goes. All right, guys, we're going to be showing you what I'm using real quick this morning um, to get on these flounders. Now, exactly what we will be using is we're going to be walking down this pier real slowly, jigging out the bottom. Now, what I'm using is my Ninja Dagger when I cast King 3000 with a one ounce egg sinker, 50 pound cigar fluoro line. And what they call this is called bull mandos. But I'm using a size two circle hook, and all I'm doing is throwing it right here to the corner and all I'm gonna do is walk down this pier jig it off the bottom and walk down take my time once I get a bump these flounders are very very easy to catch but it's a little bit different of a bite what they do is they bump and they hold on to your line once you get one let them chew let them take its time and then after you feel like your line is pulling down that's usually when you'll catch a flounder right i'm gonna make my way down the pier walk this pier as i'm doing now I'm jigging it up the bottom bouncing up the bottom and when i find one i'll take my time let them eat and i'll bring, bring them up to you right it's almost drop it right back down Flounders are very, very dumb but smart. What they do is they just hold on to your bait, so you're gonna feel like you're stuck, but that's them. Let's see if he's still on there. Yeah, he's on, guys. He is on. He is on. He is on, guys. There we go. Another one. Oh, that is number three for us right here. Number three, another small one. But we're going to throw them back. The other one that hit, it was harder, bro. That was a nice one that we had on the guys. Another, I had another hit that hit harder, but... The other one that hit harder. There we go. We're going to go ahead and release him. 
Yeah, we are on a nice one, guys. He's shaking and baking. This is a nice one, guys. Oh, that's a nice one. Get him up. Oh, yes. He's close. He's close, guys. He's real close. Found the number he, four. He ate, he ate it that ate time. the whole thing. That ain't the same fish. Nope. That is number four. Number four, guys. There we are. They are hungry right now. Oh, he spit it out. Thanks, Wiggy. There he goes, guys. We're on a nice one. The vitamin D here. We're about to leave and pack up. And vitamin D had a very good idea. He said, throw some shrimp. Maybe they will eat it. And uh, he was not. He was not lying. Guys. Uh, we got them guys oh man that is this has been a fight guys trying to land these fish they've been very very skeptical today they have not wanted to eat and uh, uh it's been a grind one guy uh, that looks like a keeper too nice i'm gonna have to measure him hey i appreciate you bro hey man teamwork makes the dream work man in the grind how do you feel d high vitamin d how do you feel hey man uh I just met Arrington today. My cousin introduced me to him, and uh, we've been trying to catch these fish for a while now. And uh, uh, Arrington just got lucky. What did you throw a shrimp out there? Threw a shrimp out there, guys. And look, uh, it was last resort. We were about to go eat, and uh, these fish wouldn't eat anything. But uh, I put a shrimp out. Arrington put a shrimp out. He got hooked up before I did, and then he did the craziest thing and handed me his rod. So. Uh, hats off to that guy. Um, what can I say? Hey, let's show you guys his fish and let's uh, get him measured up. Either he's a Beautiful. keeper or we're gonna toss him back. Let's see. It does look a keeper, guys. It looks like a slot. <laughs> nice, nice bull red. Nice and clean from the beach. Beautiful spots, guys. 29 inch red, so vitamin D will be releasing him right here in the VAR. We're just gonna drop him down. You wanna get this hook out? They're gonna go ahead and release those two redfish guys. I see they hit all back to back. So this is the proper way. Now, if you guys don't have a bridge net, you just throw them head first. But they're releasing them the right way. And uh, you can let it go down, move them around a little bit in the net, and uh, let them go. There it goes. There they go. There. There they go, guys. They're coming back alive. There they are. There they guys go. See, they're bringing them up alive. That's... There he goes, guys. Perfect release. All right, y'all. We had a wonderful day out there. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Got about four flounder. I actually got a keeper flounder, finally. After three of them that were undersized, we got one that was good. And um, managed to get on the redfish, which I gave to uh, vitamin D. I had such a good day. I wanted to, you know, make sure we all got on fish. So... Thank you guys for so much for tuning in on this week's episode if you guys are enjoying content like this let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure to make keep making comment content like this with everybody else all right like i tell you guys every time get out there go fishing safely we'll see you guys next week That's it.